Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, we have seen how you can add uh, dynamic queue widgets uh, along with the tables and some push buttons. So this is just a quick demo. You can check out the link in the description below uh, to watch the full tutorial on it. In today's video, what we are going to see is, you know, adding new cells, deleting those cells and uh, with the help of different push buttons and queue widgets. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, design the complete cell that we are going to add in the form of widget. So for that I will be adding a new class. Here you will select the widget. Now since this will be a cell that's why I am going to name as copy paste cell and finish. Okay so this will be the cell uh, you know each time that we will be adding. So for now uh, let's just shift all the files in the proper structure. Uh, we'll be editing our project file according to the file structure that we have just changed. All right. Uh, let me just resize it so that uh, it is roughly equivalent to the cell size that we'll be creating. Add one horizontal layout uh, because in this only we'll be adding all the push buttons, uh, text, and other buttons as well. So this first one will be the uh, you know label actually. Uh, this will represent our cell name and we will be giving a small push button uh, so that if you want to change the text name you can do that by clicking this button. Next again one horizontal layout and inside we will be adding buttons for you know paste, uh, copy, delete, clear and all those things along with uh, edit text. I am giving vertical layout for this complete widget and then uh, I'll be changing the names and the variable names. Okay, so now I'll just change the size of the edit window. Now we need to invoke this window every time someone clicks an add cell push button. For that we'll head to the header file and over there include it. Let me just go to the slot. So uh, basically I'll be writing one function add new cell. Uh, so every time someone clicks it this function call will be done. Uh, let me just declare it in the header file as well. So let's start by writing the logic for add new cell. The first thing that we will be requiring is the total number of cells that are present as of now. Along with it, uh, we also require a vector to save all the data uh, of the cells. So let me just declare queue vector over here. We'll be appending all the data inside this vector itself. So uh, in the function, First thing that we'll do is create a new copy paste cell. Now in the layout, the cell layout will be basically add, adding a widget. Basically this is the row and the column number that we'll be adding. So we'll be setting an attribute so that whenever we close it, it should be deleted. And uh, um, in the new cell, uh, the cell number uh, we'll be defining that in the header uh, soon. So we'll assign the cell total number as of now. We'll be setting the uh, text from here as well. These two things uh, we'll have to uh, write in the class, new cell class. Add new cell also will take a string um, so that if someone wants to have like custom text and cell name, uh, we can have that. By default, uh, cell text uh, will be blank and uh, cell name is like the default cell name. That's it. Uh, 
and finally we will be appending this uh, new cell into our vector and then increment the uh, cell number total okay Uh, after this we have to remove all these errors uh, so we'll have to define these uh, variables and function called in, into the new cell so in the header file I've defined cell number and along with it uh, I'll be defining the function calls as well Uh, we'll also be having signals so that uh, you know whenever this is closed uh, we can invoke this okay so in text data this is nothing but uh, your text edit window we'll be adding the uh, text as an input over here next uh, this is the cell label um, and we'll be setting up the cell name as text by default okay now uh, whenever we press the delete button the this queue widget cell should close and automatically delete itself so for that uh, i'll be adding all the functionalities let me just create slots for other buttons as well so whenever i, I press the delete button first it will ask for the confirmation if if i press ok only then it should uh, actually you know delete the button so in the queue message box you have yes and no and uh, if you get the reply as yes only then you should delete so that's why i'm emitting this uh, close this cell and uh, in this i'm giving input as the cell number this will be helpful to reference it from the q vector and in the add new cell i'll be connecting this uh, new cell signal to the slot of that we have just created we also have to decrease the cell number of the uh, remaining cells that are actually there because uh, anyone can delete the cell in between and that can cause an issue after this uh, you can delete this from the vector itself delete cell and everything is working fine and now we are able to add new cells as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video this was a quick introduction of uh, how you can have you know dynamic widgets and interact with them uh, for more such content please subscribe to the channel and like share and comment this video thanks for watching